Hey everybody. So here we are at Sutter and we are taking care of these six flower beds. Now, I have some goals today that I want to achieve and Jessica doesn't think we can achieve them. I want to get all of the flowers in all of the locations here at Sutter so we don't have to keep coming back to Sutter to do all these flower beds. So we're gonna finish off these six flower beds right here. And what we have in them right now are these baby tuts. We have some sweet potato vine on the sides and we have these portalacas and that's, I mean, I thought it was gonna get fuller than this, but that's as full as it got. And I know the portalacas are super bright in color you can see the little tiny flowers when the sun comes out and it warms up a little bit then those flowers will open up so we're gonna keep the blue my mind we're gonna keep the portalacas we're gonna take out the sweet potato vines and we're gonna keep in the baby tut and we're gonna fill in the whole entire flower bed with some red dianthus and some snapdragons let me show you what we have in our trailer i went to a nursery yesterday and just filled up on a bunch of snapdragons and um what else dianthus look at that isn't that so pretty look at the snapdragons in the back let me show you give you a better look look how pretty those are it's almost like they're kind of orangey they look pink in the in the video but they're a little bit orangey in color oh they're so pretty so these ones I don't know we might put them in the back but we have red we have white um, and we have these pink ones because you know Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I don't know if we're gonna be coming back to this site right around Valentine's Day but just in case I want to put some pink some pink stuff in there just to be prepared so we're gonna plant some uh, white and red color over here some red dianthus and some white um, snapdragons and we're just going to fill in these flower beds so let's just go ahead and get started I'll show you what they look like afterwards and that's pretty much it okay so we are finished and look how cute that turned out we kept the um, portalacas these are portalacas right here and they're doing so well the baby tets are doing really well we just kind of cleaned them up some good stuff right here. There's another good one. I'll get that in a minute. Um, we add, we we kept the blue my mind, and we added these red dianthus plus some red snapdragons and some white snapdragons in the back, circling the baby tut. So we did everything the same. I mean, these portalacas, these portalacas are so pretty when you see the flower. The flower is so bright, and the blue my mind is doing so well. Those are all perennials for our zone too. So the baby tut, the portalacas, the blue my mind, those are all going to, I hope, I hope last through the winter. I don't know, we're about to find out. So this portalaca does not look too good, but hmm, we'll see how it's gonna do later on in the season. But these turned out fantastic. We did, we mirrored them on both sides. So I cannot wait to show you what they look like after um, hopefully when the winter comes and see if these are gonna survive. So we're gonna go to the back side of the property and we're gonna do the back side, but first we have to make a pit stop to go to the bathroom because there's no bathrooms up here. So that's the only downfall of being a girl landscaper is you have to go look for a bathroom everywhere you go. Okay, so we're gonna go do that and then we're gonna finish the back. Okay, so now we're back, and this is the backside of um, that little circle that we do at Sutter, and look how beautiful that looks. Still, that just still looks so wonderful. These are hot lips right here, and we added this uh, Ipomia in the back, which I think now, hindsight 2020, we should um, have put that in the front, and then put the zinnias in this space right in here. So what we're gonna do is we have these um, osteospermum right here, these African daisies right in here. I think we only have a couple of them, maybe two of them. So we're just gonna take out these African daisies, cut them back, take them out, and hopefully we can winter them over and bring them back next year. We'll see how that does, how that goes. But we're gonna leave these hot lips, we're gonna leave the zinnias, we're gonna leave the ipomias. I'm sure they're gonna eventually die out, and when they die out, that's when we're gonna go ahead and um, 
clean it up because they just look so good in color. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna probably either plant some gallardias in this space right here, this little empty space, or some purple salvias. So we'll see, we'll see what's gonna fit best. But we have the Castle Pal right here, which is doing super good. And we decided that we're gonna just line this area up with these purple salvias and clean this. It looks like turkeys were nesting in here, so knock down some of the salvias. So we're just gonna go ahead and clean that up. But look at this uh, coleus, the chocolate drop coleus is doing super good. And the impatience are doing really nice. So this flower bed, oh, and the dahlias are doing good. They just need to be deadheaded a little bit. But this little circle is doing extremely well. Look at this, look at that. The castle pal is so beautiful. And then these beautiful dahlias, these are some dahlias right in here. Look how pretty those are. So gorgeous. Let me give you a better view. Look how beautiful that dahlia is. And it's, it's such a good size. So pretty. So some of these zinnias have died out and you know, they're eventually going to die out when it gets colder. But right now they just look so good. Look how full that looks. Amazing. So we're just going to go ahead and get started. Um, plant some of these salvias and plant some of those glardias and go from there. And then we have four other beds on the other and the back side that we're gonna fill in with some of the snapdragons. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like um, once we get done. It shouldn't take us too long. And that's it. Okay, so we are all finished with this site and let me show you what we did. So we left the um, hot lips, which are in the back there, since they look so good. We left those still in there. And then we just added this glardias all along this centerpiece where it was empty and we left the ipomias and the zinnias since they still look really really good and there's so many buds still on them so hopefully they do well um, i know the gladias do well i think at the temperatures if it gets to like 20 degrees so i'm hoping that i don't know we'll see we'll see we might have to come out and change them but we'll see but over here these salvias were doing so well the turkeys were laying in them um, so they looked a little flat here and there, but they actually did really well and uh, all this does really well. Now I know the chocolate drop coleus is going to die out when it does get really cold. So when it gets to that point, we're probably going to take it out and maybe put some snapdragon. But right now it's still growing and the weather is still looking nice. So I figure might as well just let this place continue to grow until they start to die out. Now the castle pal right there in the back is doing extremely well. That is a great plant to add into your landscape. It is drought resistant. It holds its color and its shape really well. And so let me show you the other side where we have that castle pal that looks amazing. Look at that. What a great ground cover. So that takes up a lot of the space. And then we have some dahlias in there that we left. We left the zinnias, the apple up because look how beautiful that looks. That just looks like so beautiful and i know it might die out and i know it will i'm sure it will but let me show you what the other um four square planter beds that we did they turned out pretty good um they don't i don't know if it gets a lot of sun back here but i think it stays pretty shady so what we ended up doing was we just ended up adding a bunch of snapdragons in there um diff pink and kind of an orangey color snapdragon, which I think it's gonna look really well, really nice once they start to get fuller. We did leave the baby tuts inside the planter beds and the portalacas. We left those inside there, so I think those might do good. Oh, and the blue my mind. We put blue my minds in there and those seem to still be doing really well. So let me show you. So we added all these little snapdragons and they're gonna get way bigger. So look how pretty that looks. Just a little pop of color. Um, they're all the same. We added the same snapdragons in all the beds. So that way it will give it a really full look with all the other perennials that we have in there with the portalacas in the in Bluma. And I know this portalaca doesn't look that nice. Hmm, I think a chicken or no, turkey was like, I don't know, messing around in there or something like that. So maybe roughed up some of them, but then it's making a comeback. So that's pretty much it. Um, other than that, I think we've done, we're done. We weeded some, we got this new weeding tool, this tool right here. Oh my goodness. 
this weeding tool is the best weeding tool. Let me see. It really, like for instance, this grass right here, all you do is stick that in there and twist it and it pulls it, oh, well, it's supposed to pull it right out. I need two hands for this. But it's supposed to pull it right out and it's pretty cool. So, so we're done for the day and I think that's pretty much it. So until the next time, I think I'm gonna go home and plant some seeds and do some house chores. And until then, take care, be safe. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you at the next site. All right, bye-bye.